Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is a review of Dot & Key. A lot of you have asked me to review this brand. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. So all the information I give comes from data. Now, what I look for when it comes to skincare for skin of color are a few things. First of all, to make sure it's NAFE safe, so meaning no denatured alcohol, which can dry the skin, can lead to premature aging of the skin no fragrance and no essential oils. Then on top of that, I look at the cost benefit analysis. So I look at whether it's worth the price because often you get a fantastic formula, but if it's, you know, too expensive and there's no point purchasing it. And because I'm a formulator myself, I do know the cost of actives, I know the cost of packaging, and I know the cost of manufacture. It helps me to help you to give you a better understanding of what the cost of a product should be. So Dot & Key is a, a brand that a lot of you have asked me to review. It is very popular in India. It's available on Nika.com. And so I've gone through their best sellers. They have lots of products and I'm seeing them a lot actually all over Instagram. So I thought, let me go through and see whether it really is worth your money or whether it's all a marketing gimmick, which often can happen, unfortunately, in the cosmetics world because we don't have very tight regulation. So I'm gonna go and break down the ingredients list and tell you whether it's worth it or not. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because for the first hour of every video, I will be here in the comment section. So make sure you do that. Also, you can ask me questions on Instagram. I've got a couple of accounts, Dr. Mita Rattan, Skincare by Dr. V. I'm also on TikTok, Dr. Mita Rattan, and also on Facebook. We have our private Facebook group called Dr. V Sock Family. So please do join if you want to document your journey and help other people. So starting off with the first product here is Barrier Repair Face Cream Plus Ceramides. So the third ingredient here is glycerin, which I love. As you know, it's in descending order of percentage. So if you look at the ingredients list at the back, the first ingredient is often aqua water, which is the highest percentage, and it's in decreasing percentages after that. So glycerin being the third ingredient here makes it me think it's probably at about five to seven percent. Um, and glycerin is a fantastic humectant. It means it holds water in that top layer of skin, which is very important when it comes to any moisturizer, but particularly a barrier repair cream. So I love this. It's also got ceramides in it, which I love too, because skin of color, we have less ceramides in our skin than Caucasians. So we really do want ceramides in our moisturizer. So it is nape safe as well. So there's no fragrance, no essential oils, and no denatured alcohol, but it does contain cocoa nucifera oil, which is five out of the five on the comedogenic scale so for this particular product i love the product if, if you've got dry skin eczema skin sensitive skin because you've overused other actives yes go for it but uh, if you have acne then i would avoid this product moving on to the next product which is a bit more disappointing this is a retinol plus ceramide night cream a lot of you asked me to review this product it's very odd because it doesn't contain retinol even though retinol is in the label in the title of this product. And this is one of the things that can happen in the cosmetics world, which is the reason why I created this channel so that we can really dig down and investigate every product. So there's no retinol in the inky list. It has retinol palmitate, uh, which is a vitamin A, yes, but it's a much weaker form of uh, vitamin A. So this is either mislabeling, poor marketing, or just misleading. I'm not sure which one. On the plus side, it's NAFE safe, but it's just, very weak so it's not really worth your time or your money so i personally wouldn't recommend this product the next one is also uh just they got it wrong at the end this is um the 72 two hour hydrating gel moisturizer with probiotics so first ingredient is water which we expect second ingredient is silicones which i love that's what keeps it quite light silicones people get confused and they think that it clogs pores it doesn't it's a large molecule and it almost acts like a a slippery sieve on top of the skin so it allows uh, ingredients to penetrate into the skin but it locks in moisture the fourth ingredient here is glycerin again which i love and they've also added ferment which is fantastic but they added IFRA certified allergen free fragrance. So this is still a fragrance. They haven't named it. It just means reduced chance of allergy. 
but not the absence of it. And for this one reason, I would say probably sidestep this product or Dr. Keith, if you're watching this, can you just reformulate this without the fragrance? There's absolutely no need. And I will make another video for you for free, of course, uh, recommending it. But as it stands, it's a no for me. The next product here is a vitamin C, vitamin E moisturizer. So this is another one I'm very disappointed in. I don't know who's writing these ingredients list, but it says it contains sodium ascorbyl phosphate on the website, but it's not any inky. So what's going on there? That's uh, very bad. And I think someone's gonna get into trouble for that. Um, and I really, it makes me question the whole brand. And I don't like to say that, and I don't say it lightly, but that's a problem, so it's a no. Moving on to the next product is the Pomegranate Plus 0.9% Retinol Serum. Have a look at the website and take a look at the before and after photos because I'm not gonna say anything more. I just want you to go and have a look. And then on top of that, they've got polyvinyl alcohol uh, in the product, which ages the skin. It's a film former. So it's, you see it a lot in this peel off masks. It leads to generation of free radicals in the skin, which damages collagen. So it's just not worth using anything with polyvinyl alcohol in it. You see it a lot also in under eye creams where they give you that instant film. But again, I would avoid. We do have some good news though. The next product is the Sika and Niacinamide Oil-Free Moisturizer. It has got niacin in it, it's, got, it's hydrating, and it's a fragrance-free moisturizer. I like it. But again, I'm not gonna say anything, but go onto the website and have a look at the before and after photo of this product as well. Just write down below what you're thinking. The next product here is a pomegranate and multi-peptide anti-aging moisturizer SPF 30. So it is a chemical sunscreen. I tend to prefer mineral over chemical because it's anti-inflammatory. It doesn't enter the bloodstream. We recommend it for pregnant women and I would recommend it for children as well because for that reason in particular. All the good actives in this product are less than 1%. So for example, niacinamide and ceramides. Plus they've got the IFRA allergen-free fragrance again. <laughs> so this for me is a product to avoid. Please write down below which videos you want me to make next, which brands you want me to review next. I am doing the Minimalist hair range. I know a lot of you have asked me for that, so I'm filming that right after this actually. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any other questions, please write down below and thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.